Um, hello, maybe even one more time. Uh, but just a small thing I need to record uh, before the wild big uh, movie. So I recommend to any of you to use the speed 1.25 on YouTube. Hello everyone in this very important movie you will see you will watch everything about dealing damage oh, how to deal more what to do to deal more and also what to do to protect ourselves okay and what are the borders what's the maximum amount we can do okay this will be very interesting and also uh, this will uh, have some maths if you like it then very good if you know i want to do as clear as i can okay so don't be scary and the last part will be what is important and what is not that big important what is not that a big not that big deal what should we go for and what can we miss okay of course this is connected very hardly with a multiplayer games but for single scenario there is some use of this also but you need to see a difference between single scenario map and a multiplayer map okay when we are playing another uh, against a human a player who thinks uh, not doing algorithms okay so i think we can start this and as you can see here we have a lot of units we have crack we have everything and i just showed you this for no reason very good thanks and we are starting the first part very good so this was an introduction and now we should start doing some more things more important new game and this map will be play me and you and you will lose very good how to deal more damage exactly and let's begin uh, not need no need for that start and i have prepared my map it's some similar to the other yes hope you watched the previous video about moving points very good uh, there is a smiley and there is a crack hack but this is not important we should start with the first guy so you can figure out how much more to say is here. Very important things. First is Nimus. So I should even start with asking you. What counts with dealing damage? And to be sure what I am talking about, I will go and fight this mummies. Very nice. So I mean by dealing damage exactly this so shooting and killing some of them or attacking and killing some of them and on the down here you can see the damage from 2.3 to 3.5 and how we can make this a uh, bigger a uh, better okay this is very important and the first part is about how to deal more damage the next will be how to receive less how to protect how to defend and the last one will be summarizing what is important what should we have what is not that we can miss okay oh the most important thing is our difference between attack skill and enemy's defense skill when we are attacking enemy and his attack skill and our defense 
when he's attacking us. And, of course, if we have more attack, we'll do more damage. If we have less defense, we'll receive more damage from the attacks of our enemies. This is sure thing. Uh, and if you don't need to know any more, no problem. But this is for uh, the people who want to improve and this will help you. So, how can we improve the attack skill and defense skill of our Ifrit Sultans or Magogs? And there are some ways. The first way is of course having a stats in our hero. And for that tutorial I started with zero attack and zero defense. That means we have normal attack and defense with our Ifrit Sultans. <clears throat> Before we will continue to the next thing, I want to mention that there is a difference between hand-to-hand -hand attack when I will attack the uh, mummies with Ifrit and there is a difference between this and shooting and shooting is when we can shoot with some distance. If our Magox, I will, uh, I will do it. If our Magox need to fight hand to hand, that means they are not anymore shooting right now. The shoots are the same, 23, even cures, very good. Uh, so that is hand to hand, -to -hand attack, no matter that this unit, unit has some shoots and can shoot. This is hand to hand, hand to hand attack. And this is all I wanted to say, and now continue to the next part. No matter really, the next part is Rashha. Rashha has or have S some statistics 10 and 10. Uh, that means our Magox 10 and 10 more, attack and defense skill, also the Ifrits. This is kinda bad because we have the specialty but for level 1 there is no difference and we'll see very soon a difference when we'll have the specialty uh, with bigger level. So now we can attack the mummies with Rashka and uh, as you can see with Ifrit we can do a lot more damage just because we have more attack skill and the defense of our enemy is still the same. Let's finish them and let's go to the next part. And boom boom. Next part is Pere. Pere has no attack skill and defense skill. So why are we doing this one more time? The same thing? Just to avoid a confu confusion. Okay? So let's fight them. And Look at this, we have 0 and 0, but our Ifrit is kinda, our Ifrit is kinda stronger. 1 attack skill, 1 defense skill, 1 speed. And same for Magox. Do you know why? I will tell you. Just because these units are on their native terrain. And for them, native terrain is lava. And they have they have no bonus. So a bit of difference, one and one and one, not that big deal, but one more speed is very important some, uh, in some fights. Now we can end this fight with hit, uh, with hit do mode, you can do it with one click. And the next part is Mar Marius. So we can improve our attack and the uh, defense skill with some units having a specialty. Now we have 0 and 0 and there is no difference with attack defense skill with our demons. But let's get some levels. Boom. I will do it as quick as I can. Good. We have level 21. 5 more damage. Attack I mean, and 7 defense. 
So for that we should have n five fifteen and also ten and seven seventeen. No, we have more. I'm with the upgraded one. We have three more attack skill and three more defense skill. That's because of the specialty and some levels with guy who has the specialty. This is not a scenario, a movie, a episode where I'm talking about the specialty of the heroes. I just want to say that something like that is here and you should know about that uh, only a bit, okay? This is enough. And before we will go to the next part, we need to... Okay, before we go to the next part, we need to so see some calculations. Don't be scary, it will not be a hard thing here. So there is some things and we are now uh, watching at this upper one. The first one works when our attack skill is higher than the enemy's defense and this lower one when our attack is lower than enemy's defense. And just to make this clear and short, if you have it, uh, another, for every one difference for attack if you have more attack than enemy's defense for every one attack more than enemy's defense you will have five percent bonus to your damage okay so if you will have let's say 10 attack more than enemy's defense of course i'm uh, i'm uh, speaking about uh, the single unit in fight, I think Ifrit or uh, Antonemi's Mummy, not the heroes attack and defense, okay? About the units in the fight. So if you have more attack skill and if you have 10 more, uh, that means you will have 50 from that and 100, 150%. So we will do 1.5 damage. How does this work in this game? Uh, let's take Fiona for sure. So, if we we'll have this advantage in attack, and this is our damage, this is the same word, but it should be different. Uh, the X, uh, let's go back a, a bit. This X is uh, the number of our units per the damage here, okay? And this is kind of ca uh, constant, constant. And if we have the advan advant advan advantage in attack, and for these numbers we have 1.5, that means we'll do 1.5 more, 150% more damage, or 10 difference. And where's the border, okay? We can do it uh, to <coughs> until forever, or there is a stop here on, what the fuck? Yes, there is a stop. If you have 60 difference, if you have 60 more attack, than your opponent defense, then you will do 400 damage, 400% damage, and this is the maximum. If you will have more than 60 more damage uh, attack, doesn't matter. The 400% is maximum, and you can't improve, uh, you can't do more getting more uh, difference between attack defense. I think it's clear. So, this is a very high number and it's very hard to get this in... It, I think it's impossible to get this in multiplayer. 
But for single, of course, you can. Anyway, and now we should take about uh, should talk some about the defense because as you could figure out there is one more thing so this is working when our enemy has more defense than our attack of course in units not heroes and for every one difference we'll do 2.5% less damage. And one more time. If he, uh, let's say, hi, hi, Hydra, Hydra has 10 more defense than our Ifrit, then we'll do 10. There is 25% with minus. So we'll do 75% of normal damage. Okay, 75. And we can't improve our uh, defense until forever and will receive no damage. No, there is a stop. When we'll have 28 more defense than on enemy's attack, there is a border. It means we'll receive 30, only 30%, but still, we, uh, when we'll have more defense, this will be still security. Okay? I think you understood this very well. And this is very hard for multiplayer to have around 30 more defense than enemies attack. So I think there is like a no border. Okay? But for single player map, you can have this advantage more than 28 good so you know how to how to how attack defense skill works very nice uh, you know how to get more of course for from libraries from level ups from artifacts can do anything you want but including all the things together will uh, what which will give you more attack and uh, what i want to say if you have let's say 60 attack like this pretty crack and you will even have some more here and anywhere that means which one that means you can't pass this 60%, okay? In, de uh, in difference between, between attack and defense, 60 is the bigger amount. No matter how, you'll get the difference that height, okay? In that height level. 60 is the, max is the maximum one. Okay, so now continue. We can't have that big advantage uh, only by stats in multiplayer maps mm -hmm. or that i think you know what i will be talking about we can use some spells okay so which spells will we exactly help in the fight there we need a small introduction we can have no magic basic magic advantage magic expert magic okay and for no magic we'll have normal spell or basic uh, we can do the spell with some more some less cost for to mana in advantage we can do the spell with some higher numbers with bigger effect and for mass spells uh, will do the spell for any unit of our army because no basic advantage we can do only for one pack for one unit i think it's clear of course not every one spell works like that but i will tell you if something is different 
So, we can improve our attack because this is the first part. How we can do more damage? Because we can't reach 60 different, 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 60, this is too much, too many, too far, good? So we can ta uh, cast Blood Chest and for now uh, we'll have 3 more damage for basic 3 more, for advantage 6 more, for math 6 more, but for any unit. And I will be talking like that. 3, 3, 6, 6. Okay, a small stop. One more time. 3, 3, 6, 6. No basic advantage expert. You are very intelligent. I'm sure you are. So no problem with understanding, for sure. 3, 3, 6, 6. Next spell, which can help us with dealing more damage, is Frenzy. But Frenzy uh, works in other way. Frenzy uh, makes our defense skill to zero from any defense, but we'll get some more attack skill from that. And for no basic advantage expert. And for no end basic, we'll get 100 attack skill, 100% of our attack skill from defense. So, if we have 10 defense, we'll get 10 more attack skill, but our defense will be zero. If we have advantage, fire magic, uh, we'll have still zero, but from 10, we'll get 15 more damage or attack <clears throat> and for mass or expert from 10 we'll get 20 because it is 100 100 150 200 percent for that spell uh, also now i just realized i forgot about the slayer but that helped you with the Dragons, Behemoths, Hydra, Stavis, Angels and Titans and for lower uh, fire there will be less units when it will help and also a uh, lower attack uh, but this is very rare when you shoot and this is worth to use it so we can skip the player next thing is air magic there we can do only precision and this will be 3, 3, 6, 6 but for our range attacks or shooting attacks and that one blood just will help only in hand to hand attacks so if you have a marksman and you are shooting, shooting, shooting and you want to do more damage and you cast a blood just this will not help you can try this if you don't believe me, but this will not help. And this spell, yes, it will help. All from air spells. Water spells. Uh, bless is very interesting how this is working. So, uh, we need to know that our unit has damage, has damage, from 16 to 24 for Ifrit. For Magox, from 2 to 4. For, let's say, Pikemans, for 1 to 2. And every unit has his damage. Uh, some of them has armed, constant damage, like Nagas 30, Angels 50. Okay? And what will Bless do? If you have no and basic, this, this will just make you do the maximum number of damage. 24 in this sample and 4 in this. But if you have the advanced or expert, that will add one more to your damage. So, listen now. From 24, it will have 25. Not that big deal. For them, from 4 to 5. It's a big better. 
but imagine mm, something what we can reach. I think we could have around 300 of nymphs or pixies and they can do from 1 to 2 in HOTA at the damage or 1 to 3 doesn't matter but look at the difference from 3 you'll have 4 so this is a big change and it will help you a lot but for uh, high level units let's say devils angels anything just one more not that important so you need to know where is this worth or where and where it is not and of course this is very good use for let's say marksmen and other shooting units from uh, the low tier okay if the uh, higher tier is not that impressive okay <coughs> we have there some other tests what can increase our damage dealing this is prayer and prayer work, works uh, like that in numbers 2, 2, 4, 4 this will increase our attack, defense, speed so one more time 2, 2, 4, 4 no basic advanced expert 2, 2, 4, 4 and the last will be for any unit for everyone and the previous 3 will be for only, only one unit ok? very good so that's all about how can we improve our damage, our dealing damage, boom, with spells. And I have there a small help and I need to go back for air spells. There is one more spell which could help. I will give you some seconds. Which one, which one will help? This one. Disrupting Ray. But how? How this is working? What is this spell? N no one is using this. Mm, yes. But this is helping. Why? Uh, this decreases enemy's defense. So, if the enemy defense will be lower than the difference between your attack and enemy's defense, will be higher, that means you will do more damage, very clear, and the very important thing about this disrupting ray, that if we cast the blood just three times, it will not stack, it will, it will give us only this uh, bonus one time, until it will last, okay, so one more six attack and nothing else, but this disrupting ray, uh, we can do how many times as we wish. We can do enemy's defense to zero. And how much uh, how much defense will we decrease? Two, three, four, five. You understand how this is working. It depends on your on your uh, skill of water of air magic very clear so this is the part how to do more damage with spells now we can go to the next part still how to increase our dealing damage okay but now not with spells uh, but we can do it it was Fiona it was Octavia Okay, this is Octavia. We can do it with having a secondary skills. And the two of them which could help are archery and offense. There is no any other what would help with dealing damage. Archery works when we are shooting and offense will work when we are fighting hand to hand even the creatures who has the ability to shoot when they are fighting face to face with their hands the archery doesn't count there then it will be offense 
what could help. And no matter if you have, uh, let's say, pirates, medusas, I mean the shooting with the mm, no melee penalty, the shootings which can help, which can fight without any uh, decreases to damage, you know what I'm talking about, still no archery offense, okay? Only if you have the artifact from three of the archery, then you can shoot even when your uh, enemy is, clear, is, is close to you, uh, but it looks like shooting. It looks like shooting, so anyway it's working than the archery, not offense. But this is very rare and offense will work when you fight hand to hand with your shooting anyway. Okay. Okay, don't talk don't talk too much. <coughs> uh, so we want to know how does these things work in numbers, yes? I think yes. So let's go to this picture one more time. And now we are here. The middle one. The first one is when we have more attack than enemy's defense, and this is when enemy's defense is higher. 30%. Uh, Why? Because it's just a number uh, when we have maximum offense. 30%. Of course, then can, there can be 10 for a basic offense or other number if we have the archery. But this thing works in the same way. We need to just change this. Okay. And that means we'll do some more damage, as you can see from this. But there is some change if we have more attack or less attack. And about that, you will hear from the, not, maybe not next, but not now, okay, later, about the summarizing, I think. If this is important or not, and how does it change? For now, this is enough to have a look at this, that there is some more uh, things on, on the end. Okay? Very good. Let's go back, go back to our game. So, I think now it's time to do a, a small summarizing. So, what can we do to do more damage? First thing, we can improve our attack skill. And we can do it with leveling up, with visiting some structures on the map with getting artifacts, with standing on the uh, native terrain, or having a guy with specialist. And we can do some spells to have some more advantage. We can also use our secondary skills. And that's all we can do to deal more damage, of course. You can get more creatures, but I think it's not about that, okay? It's, it's, it's clear that if you have more of them, you will do more damage, okay? No need to say that. But you, you have the same amount of them, and you want to do as many damage, as many as you are possible, as, you're, as you can, okay? As you are possible to do. So we know a lot about destruction, destruction, about destroying, ruining, ruining, ruined kingdom, ruining. Okay, I think ruining. Not sure how to spell this word. And this is not all. We need to defend our creatures somehow. We need to protect our archers, our power stacks, our everything, and we know. We need our numbers here. And what can we do to do to, to help us with those hard problems? Not to lose Ifrit or not to lose 20 Ifrits. Very important thing. So, as before, we need to start 
to increase our defense. If we will have more defense, we will receive more, uh, less damage. That's a clear, sh uh, clear thing, sure thing. Of course, 28 is the maximum when we we'll receive 30 percent of normal damage, well, okay, normal damage from our opponents. Of course, 28 difference between uh, our defense in our unit and uh, uh, an enemy's unit which is attacking us. Not about the heroes, okay? Because the creatures has their own uh, attack and defense skill, okay? Hope you understand that it's not about the hero. The hero is uh, this helping to creature to help hero helps creature to have better statistics, okay? And all the time I'm 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 saying about I'm telling about the units attack and defense skill. 28 is the maximum difference. If you have more, you will still have the same effect 30%. You will receive only 30%, so you will uh, block 70. It's a lot, okay? It's a lot. Uh, other things, what can we do to help ourselves? Because it's not possible to have 30, around 30 more defense uh, than our opponent. It's not important. It's not possible in multiplayer maps. And uh, maybe you can do it in single scenario. So how to make our units stronger in way of defending? Uh, in defending, okay. So we can do a cures. Cures work the same way as bless, but other way. <laughs> Very clear, yes. Boom. Or in helping. Anyway, the unit will do the minimum damage, minimum damage, minimum damage, minimum minus one, minimus minus one. So, Magog will do two damage or one damage, depends on our fire magic uh, skill. Okay, very clear. Uh, the next thing which can help us is I think nothing from the fire. I want to check to don't forget anything. Yes, now we should go for air. And there we have a uh, air shield and this is working like that. 25, 25, 50, 50. This will protect our units from range attacks. Range attacks. 25, 25, 50, 50. Very clear. Yes. Very good. Now we can continue to the next one. Water magic. And water magic, we can do some stuff. We can go, uh, do a forget fullness that will make enemies shooting units not shoot. But let's wait. If we have, not this way, 50%, 50%, 100%, 100%. What does it mean? 50% uh, means that half of them will not shoot, the, of the enemy stack of shooting units. But it doesn't mean that they will split and one of them will go and fight you hand to hand and one will shoot. No, 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 no. That means that this archer will do basically half damage, okay? And for 100%, they will uh, they will fight like they will be not shooting units anymore. They forget about shooting. They are co going and want to fight hand to hand. Clear, I think. Uh, next spell from water is weakness. Weakness will decrease enemy's attack. Of course, this will make your difference between your defense and enemy's attack higher. That means you will re receive less damage 
and about numbers as previous 3366. Three, six. And if you will use this, use it a lot of times, it will just, it will work just once, okay? The serpent flies this upgraded guys from Citadel 3. Okay, serpent flies. It has this spell weakness. I think on level advanced, so 6 less defense, I think something like that. Uh, there we have only one more spell, and this is prior. Prior, as you remember, give you attack, defense, and speed. So increasing our defense will receive less damage. And numbers 2, 2, 4, 4. Exactly. Uh, the last is Earth Magic, and there we have something to protect ourselves. The first is Stone Skin, this is just increasing, increasing our defense. 3, 3, 6, 6. Of course, the last one will be for any unit, for everyone. And Shield. Shield is very impressive. In numbers, 15%, 15%, 30%, 30%. Uh, this will decrease the damage you will receive from hand-to-hand -hand attacks. So, similar to this air shield, but works for with hand-to-hand -hand attack. And this is basically uh, working very similar to armor. And when I'm saying about armor, that means we are going to the next part. How to increase our defense in other way than using spells on getting other artifacts and blah blah blah. So for that we have Ignatius, I think. No, Ignatius has no. So I think we need to end our turn. <gasps> Kakl. Exactly. Oh, even specialty with them. Uh, that will not help. Armor. So armor will reduce uh, the damage will receive from anything. From shooting. When enemies are shooting after us. When hand to hand attack are coming to our guys. This will help in any causes. Of course, it will not help with magic damage, okay? From spells. But with the others, sure. And how about numbers? I think for that I have prepared a picture, the same picture, and this below, the upper ones, I think below. This one will work when we have more. Uh, one more time. <coughs> if enemy. Okay, we are attacker. We are attacker, of course, because we not, uh, want to know the damage. Uh, if we as attacker, we have more attack than enemy's defense, then this will work. And if not, this will work. So look, it's this, this is similar. This is the same, exactly the same. Just this thing changed, but this is same, the same is here. So nothing changed, really. Uh, that means we will just receive less damage if we are the defender and we are, will do less damage if we are the attacker. And 15 is not because this is a count number, this is just because this is a maximum number, maximum percent we can get from mass armor. As you can see here, expert armor, 15%. Let's go back here, go back here. Uh, so we'll receive 85 of damage. And I think even now I'll, I can say how this will work is if, if I will cast shield. So the tier, let's say we have mass shield, 30% for any units. To hand to hand attacks. So this thirty will replace fifteen and do forty five. No, there will be one more 
part and in this part it will be 100 minus 30 so these two things we need to uh, don't know what is this word called in english but you understood i think we are not adding here just one more similar thing like that but from 15 to 30 because we have mass earth and you will see about in diagrams in things in the summarizing if this is important or not and things like that so to improve our uh, defense to receive less damage we can do some stuff so we can have more defense we can use some spells to increase our defense or to decrease enemy's attack uh, and we can also do this secondary skill armor mm -hmm. and there is no other way to receive less damage of course we can do resurrection but it will not help with receiving damage when you are facing our enemy face to face and we are fighting and we need to uh, be protected as much as we can okay if we lose some units we can resurrect them but it's after the fight uh, the, the, the truly fight okay i hope you understood uh, the topic about this about this uh, episode so uh, we know about armor and now we will go uh, i should do that before but there is not much uh, more interesting things no, never mind very good now we'll go to the last part so what to do what to use what to not which secondary skill will be useful and which should we should we miss and how it will work with guys with specialty with guy with armorer uh, i mean tazar or this guy from snow tower not sure how she was called mm, not this one okay and uh, with crack hack if we have that offense with uh, this guy from castle with specialty in archery that you will know from the next and also the last part of this movie okay and this is the last part the conclusion the summarizing and there i will talk what you should do what is important and what is not that big deal okay so uh, without uh, too many much speaking uh, firstly if you can you should always uh, visit with your main hero the structures which will improve your stats let's say refuge camps for more attack skill arenas and everything your priority should be attack skill uh, than the defense skill and this is all you want to need to know in this part uh, using the terrain it will have more stats okay but not that important and you can't use this all the time it depends uh, having a hero specialty it will not help in that big way uh, the big the bigger the most important thing with this heroes the specialty is having one more speed uh, with the units um, and the stats are not that impressive and okay sure for multiplayer maps games you will never reach 60 advantage or 28 advantage in your stats mm. so then you should think about other things how to improve uh, how to be better stronger and of course you should collect any useful artifact from the map mm, for more stats 
uh, but it's not always the key. Uh, but you should try to get you uh, as many good artifacts as you can, okay? Uh, but even with that, probably will have not enough. And there comes the part with health. And just a small, um, uh, how to say, remembering. Uh, but just a uh, very rare use for multiplayer. Um, bless is handy in uh, when you have a power stack of low level tier units, shooting units, as exactly. Uh, I think marksmen or storm elementals, any unit you have a lot of them, mm -hmm. and probably shooting units are more important. And a shield and stone skin is uh, very handy. Uh, for Dragonfly Highs sometimes, uh, but this will not work as that good because the Serpentfly has the Dispel spell. Uh, but for Dragon Utopias, it's very impressive and it will save you a lot of units. So you should have Mass Earth and Shield, also Stone Skin, it will make you mm, a bit, bit. Uh, Longer and you will lose less units. Mm. There was a disrupting ray, not a big use in multiplayer. Also, the precision, same as Blood Just. A weakness, the same thing here. Mm. Iron Shield could be useful if enemy, uh, enemy hero in the final fight, of course, has a power stack of shooting units and the rest of his units, it doesn't count that much. So let's say your opponent has 20 titans and the, less, uh, the, the rest of his army doesn't count in big picture, okay? So then uh, using air shield would help you a lot. Mm -hmm. And forgetfulness, I think this one, I think this spell will be useful for fights with some guards if you have mass water magic but not in final fights uh, also the next one is frenzy i never saw see any use of this spell in final fights but i think it's very impressive and someday maybe even on my channel you will see a great use for with frenzy Mm, this is this is very good spell, mm, but I will tell you why there is no. Mm, how to say? It. It's very rare when you should use it. Okay, and first let's uh, finish this. So slayer, as I told you before, mm, other spells are more important than slayer. Maybe for single player, but all of this for single player. When you have a very tough card and you need to do everything, uh, then even the Slayer would help you if you fight the level 7 units. And there is a Prior, and I think Prior is very important and even handy in final fights. And why? So for final fights, most in most cases, uh, there is haste, slow and implosion in use uh, but you need to know that if you will haste your units if and uh, the enemy will cast slow your haste will disappear and you will have no bonus and the same if you will cast slow on whatever these two spells can be together and you will have the, the newest one on your units, units. and with prayer uh, if the enemy will use a slow or something else, it will still give you some more of speed. Okay, so it somehow, um, somehow it could be useful. And why there is no big use for prayer? Uh, first, you need to have mass water magic. What is not that? Um, how to say? Um, not often. You can see uh, water magic 
in our primary heroes and if you have a prayer you should probably have implosion and something else so then the prayer isn't that isn't the best choice okay and this is the same thing with frenzy there is this is very good spell but you need to know that your defense will be zero and that means you will receive a lot of damage uh, same as you will do a lot of damage okay and for berserk i think i will go for berserk uh, first rather than frenzy it depend depends but i think this is very risky in multiplayer and what else i want to say I think prayer will be very useful if you have this artifact in Hota, uh, which disables uh, one and the first and second, uh, the first and second second level spells. So you can do haste, slow, shield, and other things bl uh, blind, and then the prayer comes here and wow, very nice. But it's very rare, but in theory, <coughs> it should help you. Okay. And that's all about the spells, about the uh, uh, secondary, secondary um, kills, archer and offense. So in my opinion, you should always have the offense because uh, um, in mostly cases, in 95% of fights, uh, you will have a lot of units power stacks which will do damage hand to hand and then the offense will help uh, archery maybe if you have titans cyclops uh, but it's very risky because one block uh, and that means you need offense not archer as i told you before how oh, this is working okay so if a shooting unit need to fight hand to hand uh, this unit is not shooting anymore and you need offense to deal more damage. <coughs> I think it's clear. And yes, of course, archery could be useful. Uh, I can I can say without any uh, any uh, lie that for map wayfarer without archery you can't pass this map probably. Uh, but also have a um, Main hero is uh, archery specialist, so you should go after archery, yes. Mm, because better level will give you more, as you can see, as you will watch very soon. And for multiplayer maps, I think offense, not archery. There could be something else more useful than archery in the spot. Mm. Uh, but archery is very handy, I think, in the beginning and for uh, your scouts, because in the beginning, uh, your main army, your main power stacks, um, in many cases, are shooting units, and this will help them deal more damage. Okay, but for uh, um, for main hero, I think it's not the best choice. It's not bad. Could be worse, like um, let's say navigation, but it's not the perfect kill in my opinion for main hero and of course we should have the armor here but we have this in blue hero and I don't need to don't want to reload and do it so we'll not we'll save some time and of course we need the armor in our main hero because it will make us uh, how to say it will receive less damage in any causes in any options uh, will receive less damage and I think uh, it's even time to uh, to mm, start with this picture very big picture but mm, it will not be that hard I think and there is one more thing I need to record uh, because when I watch this it will be uh, easier for you to understand all of this big uh, picture but it's very very easy uh, just listen uh, when we have there a number 1.0 or 1.5 or whatever just imagine uh, this in percent okay so 1.0 is 100 um, percent 
1.8 is 180 percent and it's all you need to know so what do we hear what uh, do we have here here so in the upper uh, can you see uh, all of this uh, yes i think you can it could be a good quality of this picture so no problem uh, this is in polish by the way but it's very very clear uh, to translate it and i will do it for you no problem really so on the left we have the difference between uh, the attack of the aggressor attacker the unit who is attacking and uh, between the defense of defender okay so attack of uh, attacker minus defense of defender and of course it could be more than zero or, or less than zero uh, you can see that there is 20 and 60 and there is no everything but we don't need to know uh, any single number we need to just know the big picture okay uh, how this is working <coughs> and let's say i can do even this i think it's very nice but you can't see the left side uh, if that uh, you can so the next is um, how much will we do uh, how, which number we need to um, anyway uh, if you have no difference we'll do the normal damage it's your damage per one zero okay that's normal damage if you have some more attack then you will do some more damage and of course this is continuing to 60 difference and then it will be constant constant for, for zero and down here same 28 0, 0, 0 0.3 and not less than this okay mm. the next thing is that when you have offense in expert that means 30 percent and how much will you do with 30 percent so even without any difference you will do uh, a lot more okay, 1.3 and we can now see that even if we'll have i'm not sure if you can see it so i'll do it like that even when you have nine attack skill less you will do one zero damage if you have mass of uh, offense expert offense so look how impressive this skill is yes and this is all you need to know about this right now there is the same thing with archery so you can compare the numbers if you wish but i will not do it and the next one is uh, armor 15 percent and that means you will receive less damage and that means you will receive uh, 85 damage no matter what no matter what is the difference so all the numbers will be lower by this number but by this amount okay just to compare even when enemy has four attack skill more uh, he will do 1.0 damage okay and there this is not that uh, interesting and the next one is f attack that means uh, the effective of attack or of offense of course i mean of offense Mm. so how effective is to have offense and there you can see some uh, numbers mm. when you have no difference it will give you 30 percent more and what's this 30 percent so mm. this is the damage you will do uh, with offense comparing to the damage you will do without offense so it's basically this to this and same with the other things so if you have uh, more defense uh, or the enemies the defender has more defense okay 
a new attack, uh, attack skill, then having offense will give you 30% more damage. Uh, but if we have, let's say, 20 more attack and we have the offense, that means we'll do only 15% more damage um, comparing to the normal without offense. Same with archery. And there is about armorer, but it's the constants, constant number, 15%. Okay, very good. And on the right side, we have 21 level. There should be 20 level because I did this uh, two years ago and now I have some more knowledge even. So it could be level 20 and level 40. And this is a hero with specialty offense archery armor offense archery armor same as here same things uh, as there but with uh, heroes with specialty okay so let's say in this we have crack hack level 20 so his offense has 60 percent uh, uh, because he reached a 100 percent bonus to offense it means 30 percent uh, per two two times and this is 60 and the other numbers are kind of similar but just two times bigger okay but we'll see what does that mean very soon same for archery but other numbers a bit higher because um, the maximum if is 50 percent 30 <coughs> And if we have level 20, uh, 40, there is some other numbers here, okay? Hope you can see all of them. Mm, you cannot. So let's do it like that. Now you can. Mm, so this is a crack hack level uh, 40. And there is a, uh, a, a, one more time, offense, archery, uh, armor, but armor with Azar or someone else with armor specialty, a uh, level 20. So this is a 30% reduction, okay? And if you have another level, 40, we'll have even more. That means enemies will do to us only 55% of the normal number of damage they will do. So look uh, how how strong Tazar is when he has some levels. Even this 30% is the same as having no armor, not no armor, and casting all the in all the fights um, shield. But this shield works even with shooting, and the shield um, when we'll cast it is working only in hands-to-hands -hands attack so look how important this ability is okay <coughs> and now let's do some numbers i think so uh, in multiplayer map game it will be around 10 and minus 10 difference i think not much not more than this maybe to 15 but it's very rare uh, so you can see how important it is to have the offense. So even with 15, you'll do 17.1% more damage. That means if you have 100 Vyverns, they will do the same damage as 117 Vyverns. If you have offense. Mm -hmm. Clear, yes. But if you have less uh, attack skill, then it's even better because it will give you all the number 30%. Okay, very good. Armor you should always have because it will reduce the damage you will receive. Uh, it, will, it, it works uh, the same way in without, uh, how to say, doesn't, that doesn't, matter the difference between attack and defense 
and this will reduce the same amount of damage okay We're comparing how much we will receive to with armor to how much we will receive without armor is still this number will will have 15 percent reducing okay and look at this guy if you have crack hack even without any difference will do 60 percent more damage hands to hands attack so let's compare 100 vivens with crack hack level 20 with offense will do the same damage as 160 vivens without offense and without crack um so this is a big number yes isn't it and of course you can't reach you can't hire more more vibrant there's a border but you can have other hero better hero i mean crack or someone else even with normal offense without specialty and that will give you more damage without uh, without increasing your number of units okay and the same with bigger level but 20 is a for a single map i think and just a small not tip um, <coughs> uh, interesting fact okay i tried to do tazar with the highest level i could and but the maximum is 70 something and i couldn't reach more than this because then i have level, level zero with minus experience and for the maximum i had around 80 level 80 let's say and that means we'll still receive some damage but very very close to nothing okay and same with other heroes but level 80 it will no happen anyway no no it will not happen so we'll be here in more cases even here in the beginning of a map and fighting with guards so look how much it will help in the on the beginning it's very impressive okay so now uh, we know everything about that and what can we do as there is nothing else to say really one more thing just to be mentioned that i didn't forget about that so we can do more damage if we have the luck of course and if we have the luck we'll do 200 percent more and we'll have when we'll have bad luck we'll do half of the damage and there is a chance you have to have a good or bad luck uh, when you have one two or three points of mm, luck okay with your hero of your units so if you have more than three let's say you have plus six luck doesn't matter it works in the same the same way uh, as if you will have well uh, if you will have three and in shadow on the shadow of ditch in the normal in the most popular version you can't have a bad luck uh, but in hota which i recommend for any of the of you people you can have a bad luck and even there are artifacts which are decreasing the enemy's luck it's very interesting thing mm -hmm. and i think that's all we need to know about dealing damage hope you enjoyed this uh, don't forget to check other series other movies from this series and also other series mm. if this will helpful feel free to uh, let me see uh, if if you enjoy this uh, let me see uh, leave something uh, at hump up you can do a comment if you want to say something like oh thank you you are a god N no problem and if you want to if you need to say oh you need a doctor really sure i know 
I'm kind of ill, but I'm uh, I'm fanatic on of Heroes Free, so Doctor will not help in that way. Okay, uh, very good. And if you enjoy things from my channel, feel free to uh, subscribe, so you will not miss any uh, of these episodes. Mm, in my plan is to give you one episode every day and also one of those tutorials in every Sunday. So hope it will make you improve in your fights with your friends, in your competitive even. And hope now there will be no questions. Ah, oh, why they did that much damage? We have the same attack skill and defense, but let's see. He's a crack hack level 20 or Tazar level 20 and will do no damage to Tazar. Hope you enjoyed and have a good night.